we're going to be showing off the silver climb. We've made it out of bronze, and now we are in silver four. Sadly, my Kane vacation account has taken a temporary suspension because Riot, for some reason, thinks my account is from China. I got mass reported, but it's okay. We have this account to play on. It is silver four. We are playing against Vi, Alawi, Kali, Karthus, and Twitch. So they have three melee champs, two range. I can't really one shot anyone besides maybe the uh, maybe the Twitch, honestly. Karthus is kind of hard because he can get Zanya, and also he has his E. I'm gonna start bot at towards top because I want to get my red form. I guess I'm not gonna get a leash. It's all good. For some reason, I have a grave support. But we'll see how that game goes. Or that goes with the game. Start birds. I think I'll pass. Alright. So, enemy junk starting blue. They're pathing up. Against Alawi, Aatrox and Alawi. The matchup's going to be very interesting. Because Alawi is a very terrifying champion in this elo if you're not able to dodge her e she can do so much i'm actually very surprised to see the amount of alawi that i've been seeing in this elo i've seen alawi in about five to ten games i think the main thing about bronze for me was uh a lot of champions relied on people not able to dodge skill shots so we're gonna see if silver is kind of similar to that here one second i need to go out of this yeah for some reason that was a little weird bug the baby krug is kind of a uh, did its own thing there. Vi appears to have decided to go bot after farming one camp. Okay, we troll now. Oh. Uh, I may be getting trolled. We're gonna have to wait and see here. This is my first game in silver. And we might be getting trolled. We'll see. Hmm. Genuinely, I could probably 1v9 this game regardless. The only real threat to me would ever be the Alawi. And as long as she doesn't get free kills and gold, we should be fine. I'm not really scared oh, yeah, of Twitch. I'm not really scared of Karthus. Oh, game. Mags, thank you so much for that 34 months. Welcome back. Appreciate that so much. I'm going to ping out my mid laner to be a little bit careful here. Yo, FML, thanks so much for the reset. Appreciate that so much. Back to the same club. Always fun to watch your stream, Linux Heart. Yeah, thank you so much. Welcome back. Actually, it looks like Kennen got a kill. Nice. That was really good. The truck side top, all good. I'm already seeing a massive shift. I feel like bronze and iron, it had a lot of bots, but not a lot of inters. I think only when it's really far behind, some people will AFK, I've had that happen. But people will rarely run it down. CeeLo seems very, uh, a lot more talkative, I'd say. A lot more talkative. And a silver. Enemy junk should be pathing up right now. I'm gonna try and scout her out. Let's find her. Damn. I didn't hit my W on her. If I curved it a little bit, I would have killed her there. All good though. Get her red now. I have a really big lead. I am the weapon. You are too. She should be pathing down right now. I'm pathing up. You see this Alawi, she's pushing up a good amount, and because I can actually get this angle behind her, and I can get the red buff to apply this slow, it'll make this gank a lot more accessible. Definitely gonna look for it. There's a bit of a minion wave stack, but because both of us are here, and she's a little bit low on her HP already, we should be able to do this. I just have to make sure to play to dodge her E. Okay, not bad, got her flash. That's fine, because we get her flash, and the orbs, and the wave is in uh, more of a setup for Aatrox as opposed to Alawi, which is good. Very good. All right. Now we're gonna go and path once again, bot to top. So as you guys can see right now, bot lane's kind of in this situation where they're pushing up as well. So maybe we'll be able to look for a gank down here. Bai is one of her main strategies of play is to be able to solo the dragons. So I'm gonna have to watch out for that. And it, or not Kennen, Twitch uses Q to be on CD for a little bit. Probably up up and try and poke them, yes. AP Twitch, so he just pokes with his E. Probably look to go for a gank right now and get behind them. As I mentioned, it's just very important to watch the lanes. Nice. 
probably just try and get a controller down. The objective here. Wait, whoops. I wasn't putting. I forgot. I see Vi top actually, but it's fine. I'll still put it here just for whenever I'm not around top side. Scuttle should spawn in around 20 to 30 seconds, depending on when Vi took the scuttle, because I know I took mine immediately. If both the scuttles die immediately on spawn, normally the second scuttle will spawn around 6.05 to 6.10, but because she took a little while to get that scuttle, it's going to spawn a little bit later. I know when her raptors spawn and she just went to the bot side of the map, she put a ward right there so I could ping it out. We're going to gank bit again. Crossing map towards that top side to get her top side camps, because she has no bot side camps right now. Hitrox is versus Lava. You can see that she's very low and because she's extended, I'm just pathing up just in case. But you got the solo bolo, nice. What happened to the Kane vacation account? Uh, I got mass ticketed and I tried getting it unbanned, but because I sewed my VPN on, Riot uh, thought I was from China. So they sent me to the Riot support in China to uh, settle the to get the account unbanned. I do not speak Mandarin. I do not think I will be able to get the uh, account unbanned at the moment, but maybe in time. Okay, she wasted her Q, which is her main getaway. I'm gonna stay in front of her here. Nice. She only had one extra camp, so I know she didn't do her Krug, she just did Raptors. I could take the crooks. Lies? I have the screenshot. I can show you. I have the screenshot. I can show you. Alright. We're going to be rushing Gore Drinker. The enemy team comp. I typically go the same items on red game. Arthas ulti. Looks like he's ulting for mid and top. I remember when I was in silver a long time ago, I actually used to, uh, play Karthus a little bit and every time I played him I would just alt every time it was up and then after game if anyone played me I would just say oh well look at the damage I have the most damage and then they would say well you just use your ult and waste and I was like no I was doing damage because back in those back in those days in silver if someone lost HP they didn't go reset in the fountain they just like walked to lane with no HP nice good job Aatrox yeah it's very fortunate that Aatrox is doing well to that Lowy a lot of my lanes are doing pretty well here. Finding a lot of success. Probably gonna take blue and then move over to the enemy raptors and then try and take the rift. And yeah, see, you can see I, I'm slowly starting to get more aggressive, so I'm taking camps from her. And I'm also trying to make sure that I can like force the scuttles, force the objectives. And now if she fight, fights me, she's forced to give me my form and or die, which probably she will die because has three long swords and I have an iron spike whip warhammer. So this is where itemization really does pay a lot of uh play into a lot of it. I didn't have my E. Oh wait, whoops, I misclicked. I meant to level that up. It's here, so. Because I have my sweeper, I can actually just stay on her. Oh man, that's bad. I died, wow. I didn't think she stole her flash. Oh, she went Aegis the Lesion. That actually threw me off. I forget, people are doing so many weird builds. Yeah, I, I definitely should have looked at that before I went in there. Yeah, because norm normally I've never seen the Kali build that tanky. I thought I'd just kill her and get out real quick. Yep. All good. I'm still really ahead. 
It was just a foolish little mistake. Team is very, very toxic. I'm sure they're on this right now. Or they're not. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, this could be a really free kill on the cart. This that's a really good setup by the Triss, to be honest. If he just waited for me, it would have been better, but we'll see if he gets the kill here or not. Not, but I get it, so that's all good. Win the alt here as long as I can. Nice. Yeah. No point in me exiting out of my alt early when I don't have my CDs and I could just tank free E and Q damage. Run in, but she's really tanky. Just dodge that. A little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous. Definitely a game where I think I'm going to want to rush some MR here because they have so much AP damage. That will definitely help me out a whole lot. Because I'm ahead, I'm also going to be getting Ionian boots. I typically like to get Ionian boots if I'm very ahead. It's kind of one of my main play styles is to uh, shift my itemization towards more aggression the uh, better I'm doing. And because I'm doing quite well this game, I figured that'd be a pretty good idea. Okay. We'll obviously get some uh, other resistances later on when I need them, but as of right now, I don't really need them. HP doesn't really do too much for me anyway, because the Alawi and Vi both target percent health. So just getting MR and maybe some more damage would be good. Sometimes damage is the best resistance. Just having a lot of it would be nice. They have a lot of lockdown here as well, but they don't have the proper itemizations themselves. That's where I think itemization just plays so much of a toll. The main way to carry games, I always feel like, is through itemization. I'm going to bait her in here. Yeah, you always want to time your smite. Oh, you always want to time your smite with your uh, highest damaging ability. In mind is my Q. Just walk on her here. It does. Yes. I'm about to use my ult that way. Save my ult for the Kali. She's going to E away. My W's are kind of bad right now. I just I just woke up. My first game of the day. First game of the day. My bad. Getting a little bit warmed up. No, I think out of this series, I think one of my most um, one of my most prominent questions was: Is this the most toxic elo? Is silver the most toxic elo, or plat, or gold? I played a little bit in plat the other day because I was um, doing, I was playing on another account that ranked up a little bit too quickly. But I definitely feel like, oh wait, I might die here. Did not realize how ahead they were. Oh no, it just got me. Wow, they actually do a lot of damage. That's Karthus for you though. Five kills. I do wonder what is the most toxic elo. If you guys want to answer down below, let me know what you think. What? You, what do you personally think is the most toxic elo? But so far, my first game into silver, very, very toxic team. They stopped typing now that we're winning, but early on, they seem to be very aggressive. Typing in all chat, typing in allied chat. Iron and bronze were pretty nice, to be honest. Pretty nice. I got a good amount of leashes. I, I got a good amount of uh, help, good amount of communication. Even made a couple friends. Had some people add me after games and say really nice things. So, honestly, Iron Bronze was pretty cool. But right now, Silver is not looking so hot. But this is just the beginning of the Silver Elo grind. So maybe I'll change my mind as I grind through it. Hopefully, I get no losses through this. Okay. Thank you. 
I don't want Twitch to get his ulti autos off. I'm just trying to bait for eight sharks right now. Nice. Yeah, I was just trying to stall them out. Okay. Not bad. As long as I'm making sure that I'm getting the proper amount of CS and the objectives, I should be able to secure this dub ski for the boys. Diving to Lowy is always a dangerous thing to do. But not impossible. As long as you don't eat her E, and she doesn't ulti follow. As soon as her E is gone, that's when you go in. Well, I got the objective, but just look at how much we're getting here. I'm gonna stay in here just in case she has flash or something to get away. Oh, she ulted her away. Dang it. Well, now we're going to get a little bit more tanky and definitely a lot more resistances towards the uh, Karthus, Twitch, and Akali. Nice. Gaksho is quite an OP item. People have been asking me about it on Red Cane. Firstly, I don't know if that's something I would ever build on Red Cane, though. Uh, okay, well, we will probably look to go. Not Cleaver. Honestly, this is a bit of a forbidden build. Something you can do into these specific comps where they have this uh, itemization to tackle the percent health. I feel like you can kind of go more of an, a, an aggressive route. There's also items like that stance that would be very valuable. But, you know, because I'm so ahead, this is a little bit of just... You know, being able to pay attention to what is ahead of me and what is ahead of me because I keep realizing that I'm struggling to stay on top of them. So the slow on my Q will help. Not just the slow on my W because if you guys don't know, the W gives you a slow and a knockup. Pretty OP. But a nice little slow on my Q would help me out as well and then some more damage because I feel like I'm missing out on damage. But normally I would get to the stance here. All of your dead. Thanks for eight months. Are you climbing faster now that Smurf Q removed? Um... Yes, because I'm getting a lot more Qs. But it's funny, because Smurf Q usually gives you more LP. So normally with Smurf Q, you get like 27 to 30, but you wait in like a 20 to 30 minute Q, which is not worth it. But now, it's pretty short Qs, with uh, around, you know, it usually starts at like 16, 17, 18, then it works up to 20, 22, 23, so much more smoother transition towards climbing now. Definitely think a lot of people at the lower elos are gonna have a lot more fun climbing because I've heard so many stories, countless stories, and if any of you have had this happen to you, feel free to let me know. I've heard so many stories of people accidentally getting put in Smurf queue because they were winning too many games in their own elo, their own main elo. You know, viewers of mine tell me, oh, I'm I'm new to ranked, I have a 70% win rate in silver, and I got put in Smurf queue. And yeah, being put in Smurf queue, it is a lot of very toxic individuals, a lot of very angry one second. He does not ever ult, so. Get this guy down. A lot of very toxic, angry individuals, so you gotta be careful of Smurf's Q. Nice. Very good. You can see I'm having no issue killing that Akali now. Before I was struggling a little bit. He's quite tanky. Probably resetting that bush. I'm not just getting the fruit and backing up. You can see in this elo, no one really has an idea of how to end. But me being the main main that I am, I always have an idea of how to end. I mentioned this in all my games, all my videos. 
the proper way to transition yourself from the early game towards the mid game take out all the tier one towers and now that we are ahead we just play to vision in the enemy jungle we look for fights we don't look for picks because we're not playing the game. we look for fights and we play on objectives now some people are going to say well why did i give up the second dragon because i got the t1 top tower that helped open that but i feel like that t1 top tower was not going to go down without a fight because that allowee is extremely tanky. but now that we have the second rift we can look to get an objective with this because i've gotten so much of an advantage for myself none of them really want to fight me correct so if i just set myself up in the proper spots actively look to make plays make dives Figured he had flash there. I was just trying to bait them into walking up to me so I can kill them. I don't die here. Nice, and I got the rift crash. So we're gonna take an early inhib. And the reason why I take an early inhib but most of the time it's frowned upon to do this, but the reason why I'm doing it is because uh, I know how to transition the game from early inhib towards end. A lot of people do not know how to do that. So the way that you play with getting an early inhib, you have to recognize that it essentially makes the game a 4v5. The reason why it's bad, by the way, is because whenever you have the early inhib, they're spawning supers. So every wave they're getting supers, which a lot of gold and XP, and every wave you're losing those waves because the supers will just automatically kill the wave. So... It's kind of denying you gold and giving them extra gold. Very unlucky thing to do. She has flash, definitely, by the way. Went blue spite? That's interesting. That's why I hold my W for when they flash. Oh, the way that you'd want to play with the uh, early inhib is understanding that it'll be a 4v5, so we just apply pressure elsewhere. So the best place to take an inhib is genuinely always bot lane, because if one is forced bot, guess what? Then Baron is a lot easier to secure because it's usually going to be a 4v5. This is where things like TP need to be saved. That's why usually the top laner will go split bot. Notice how they're playing for the dragons. And usually I would play for the dragons. But if I'm this ahead and we already have an inhib. And I'm able to uh, in the spot where I can kind of 1v5 in fights. And I don't really need to worry about the dragons. Because dragons is really only there for like a late game scaling. Or you know, if things get a little bit too dicey. It's just good for uh, a safety net. I got my Conquer almost fully stacked here. I'll let Aatrox kill her. I sustain. Kill him. Dodge that. Be able to live here. So now we got an extra inhib. So now we got two inhibs. And now we just get just grouped up. I'll look to take a plan and then uh, probably stick around to the map if I can. Trying to dodge those abilities is so funny. Iceborne. Maybe that Twitch should be around. Maybe just group top and get the top and it should be game over. Oh, I took my fruit. Oh, that's really bad. I'm about to get folded. But it's okay. I killed her and got the sustain. Oof. Look at those tentacles. They are hurting me bad.
Definitely felt my mechanics warm up more towards the mid to late there. But that was a pretty solid game. This is my second time ever playing in silver. It was a nice little adventure back. A GG, well played. Hope you boys enjoyed it. Peace.